testing to the real so on in the morning same is how we want to greet you when we finish it lele and don't 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 go good move with the flick of a head hello one come on do it was a very very special time i'll come back to my youtube channel to my youtube channel so I'm gonna keep this one short. And not. What is short, right? I'm a short person. I'm I'm really fun. Fun. This video is going to encapsulata. Summarize. My favorite band. My favorite musician. No, from Amsterdam. I've been listening to Barnabas since I was 14. Because I went to art school. They had music and they were dating weird guys that like weird music. Funny enough, all my ex boyfriends were either musicians or they played an instrument. Hmm, the disastrous ones. There's only one. Actually, I've never dated a guy that wasn't a musician. Hey, here's some psychoanalyzing here. I'm sorry if you're my ex and you're like, and you know you've never played an instrument and you just be like, what does she mean? I'm going to show you guys my really, really cool um, encounter with Bonobo. As you know, Bonobo. You don't know, now you know. Today's quiet. I hope that dog doesn't come back, but this time I won't be scared. I won't be shaken. I will not be moved. Mm. I guess I can't eat and talk to you guys here. Being on YouTube really exposes your crazy to people. Like, I'm sure you guys are psychoanalyzing this. Like, does she eat the whole strawberry like a psychopath? The sole intention of going to Europe was so that. Okay, but just so you know, my wig is fine. It's just that, like, I have those Benny and Betty's underneath. One day I'm gonna do videos where I show you guys my Benny and Betty's. But apart from that, all as well. It's just like my mom did four lives. It's here and here. Bonobo was really, really great. I said that like five times now. The reason I actually went was because I bought the tickets already in October, booked my flights and everything for Europe, and then Jiggy Jiggy Bonobo says they're coming to South Africa because people have been begging. I've been begging. I've been I was begging, I just, I would tweet all the time. I'm pretty sure they used tweet, so I'm like, hey Bonobo, do you mind uh, <laughs> going down here for a little? <laughs> yeah, didn't really listen until like much later, but I'm glad they came anyway. I told myself I need these tickets, even though I'm going to see Bonobo in Amsterdam. He was performing a DJ set there, whereas in Cape Town, he was performing with the whole eight piece band. Bless his soul. And I was like, yes, we are going. See, I are happening, we are happening to go there, happen to be going there. So I wasn't even in Cape Town at the time, I was in Melspread, but I made sure that I had a job to do in February in Cape Town so I could fly back around that time. 8th of February. I remember it like it was yesterday. I woke up in the morning and I went to go do my volunteer teaching. I used to teach English as a volunteer at Prestwich Primary School in Greenpoint. So I went and I taught my little kid, like I teach one-on-one, -on -one, like reading and writing English. Really, really fun. After that, I, I like, I think I even ended up, I went to yoga yeah i went to teach then i went to yoga how does what was i wearing what happened what happened wow that is some proper planning i used to like do the most in Cape Town. no no i didn't used to do the most i actually just went to go pick up my mat at yoga decided i'm gonna walk home a yoga studio yoga life was in greenpoint like kind of the water this really cool place called Robin Sharma I think it's an interior design studio really really cool I ended up speaking to the owners I had my little yoga mat with me they were so nice they took pictures of me in their place this has nothing to do with Bonobo but it was part of the vibe you know I was anticipating the niceness of the day I'm gonna go now to like a restaurant called Salsa here in Nalsprit it's a Mexican restaurant and then I'm going to edit this Bonobo video to show you guys what Bonobo is about. I'm super excited. <laughs> we left the studio and I went home, yes. At the Kirsten Bosch Gardens here in Cape Town. Gardens. I'm gonna see better flowers than these, I promise. I'm gonna get ready. Stay tuned um, because I'm gonna be, I think, documenting the rest of it. Super excited. I know I look like the last lives of Bray right now. I promise you it's gonna get bad. Let's 
doing a fiction, catfish diaries, yeah. Started getting ready for Bonobo vibes and I was in the mood and I was playing Bonobo the whole day. friends up the road, Kruga and Chilani, as well as Taylor at Kruga and Chilani's home. We got there, we like did a little bit of a prees and look who we found. How are you feeling about the concert tonight? I'm excited. I'm super excited. What time are we going to leave? We leave after the next Ideally, but who Who knows? That is the question. Are you feeling Krugs? Excited? Ready. Ready, ready, ready. ready. Pop all the stuff. friend like a really really great friend I know I said in the last episode that the friendship factory was closed but obviously not if I made friends with Michaela thank God for Michaela because she's great and I made a really really amazing out of this world friend her name was Talia her name is Talia because she's, she's alive guys hey I've seen flames we've got lots of mutual friends <clears throat> Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Don't you? Ah. Oh. Don't you? Don't you wish your girlfriend was raw like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a fun like me? And don't you? My friends knew that I was not on good speaking terms with Talia. A story for another day. Why well, we're not okay right now, maybe. Hey, but it's a deep one. Hi, it's a tiring chat, that one. But basically, people knew they knew why and what's happening with Talia now. Jiggy Jiggy, on the day, Tulani tells me Talia is also coming. Like, to where? To where? She coming now. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? All of these guys are like, I do, I do, shame. What do I need to do? Subscribe. We're so funny. Look at us. We're so hilarious. We're hilarious. Even in traffic, we're hilarious. But we're super, super, super packed to get to, in terms of traffic, to get to Kirsten Bosch Gardens, so... We had to like do karaoke in the car. So karaoke. <laughs> you guys are problematic. I like. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I know she likes you. I know she likes you. I understand. I understand. I'd probably be just as crazy about you if you were my own man. Maybe. Maybe. Come on, know your love. I 
I did hit her at the end of the night. I didn't mean to. Sorry, Talia. I was mad. I did apologize to her, but I was mad, man. You know, to, to contain the anger towards someone and the pain, and then also contain the... Ex it's like too many emotions and too many, like, conflicting emotions, too many strong emotions, you know? But I held myself. I held my ground. I was strong. I didn't, like, act up because, you know, we're all in a group and we have to be nice and stuff. But, like, it was awkward vibes between her and I. Yeah. 
was Lipton iced tea, having all of the stuff that's for free open beforehand, courtesy of this influencer promoter. Bonobo, welcome. Hi, how's it's, it going? It's great. It's fabulous to have you here. So even better now that you are here. Thank you so much for coming in today. You're welcome. Thanks for having us down. Well, I'm excited to hear some music. Want to start off with a couple songs? Yeah, sure. All righty. Take it away. Like, what's your favorite Bonobo song? You were here for a while. You come to me, don't sigh. Try to make sense of this. By the time that I expressed that I have felt helpless. Bonobo. Wow, the sun is coming out. <laughs> 
video. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> you also what? <laughs> oh, oh, no sit. And then at the end of the night, Talia wanted to talk to me when we got to Tulani and Kruger's house. They all wanted to go and like have drinks there and chill. And I was like, I'm Audi like an Audi. I'm out. And easy. I'm going home just right down the road. Like I didn't mind chilling, but I just didn't want to be around her. I, like, I still have to be around her. She must give me back my clothes and my phone. Can you give me back my clothes, Talia? Bro? Like I'm not doing this for cloud. Can you give me back my clothes? If you see this, maybe somehow you come here one day. Like I love you, you hurt me, but give me back my stuff, bruh. Give me back my stuff. Why do girls do that? Why do girls why are girls snacks? So I'm friends with Zama for ten years, guys. Your snacks. The snacks. Stopping snacks, guys. Yo. I know. Not like this, bruh. You know when you eat a eat a fruit? You know when you eat a fruit? Enunciate articulate and you can taste the bug. I hope I don't die of diarrhea. Moon and Pumba ate insects, so they're fine. I grew up in Venda. I'm not like you city kids. I'm a village child. I'm a farm girl. I think that's sporty for life. No spread brew. Yeah, yeah, oaks. I used to catch grasshoppers as a kid, so a little insect in a strawberry. What's that? Hmm. As a kid, I used to catch insects like termites. I've had. Do you know my shonja? as well as grasshoppers. Grasshoppers were the best. They taste like chicken. This is how you catch a grasshopper, kids. This is said grasshopper. Yeah. <clears throat> In Venda, it's called Rko Batanzi. So you Batanzi like this. <gasps> And then you put it in your little plastic that you've got and then when you get home you take it out I remember how I used to do it the taking it out because obviously I'd have like a whole bunch of grasshoppers jumping around but take it out then you take out oh yes when you butter it besides mid-range you take out the legs take out these guys as well and then you can fry him with oil and he tastes just like chicken. For those low budget students of mine that are following me and watching this, <laughs> healthy and you don't have to worry about weight gain. Got you. If somebody wants to come for my heart, I will stop them. I will fight them with vigor and strength. But if you're gonna buy me Bonobot, <laughs> which finger? You want this one? Take him. Take him. This finger's for you. <laughs> my next video, or sometimes I say my next video will be the baby shower, and then you guys suddenly have a birthday video. These things happen, you know, it depends on what I'm feeling inspired by. I edit everything myself. A lot of time. I have all the content, but sometimes I start editing. I should really learn how to use Premiere. My movie just sometimes like messes up the font. I'm like, I've been working with you for so many, just, just I've been here for hours. Why are you doing so much? <laughs> kind of next video will be my Bonobo concert in Belgium. How cool is that? Somebody took me. Somebody drove me three hours and surprised me. <laughs> you love me and I can see you. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you guys on the flip side.